Hey, Shalom, I'm Maki and Brother Kanan, back with you with the show. Started by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Kapadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and the elders of great Muslim who are well and teach well and lead in Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching this truth and this righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shah for salvation. Shalom, I'm Maki. Just make a quick lesson here. All right. Right, you know what time we in. You know what time we in. All right, we in the time. We in the time of judgment. All right. Um. Quick lesson, man. You know, the spirit and power, y'all, by Shemuel Shot. You know, always gotta thank y'all by Shemuel Shot for putting the spirit upon us to make these lessons, these edifying, exhorting lessons, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shot. Okay. You know. Let's get it. Let's go into Proverbs eight. Um, Proverbs eight and one. Do not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. All right. Do not wisdom cry. Okay. You know, uh, uh, rebuking our people in their wicked and, and uh, sinful ways. All right. You know, war, uh, uh, warning, warning them about. about what kind of danger is coming? You know, you niggas are hard headed and stiff necked, man. You know, and Yahweh by Shema Shai is fed up of all your all your um, foolishness. Okay, that's why you see so much judgment going for in this day, man. Cause you niggas are foolish, foolish and ignorant. Take no accountability for your actions. You women. Take no accountability for your action. And I speak as if y'all know everything. Think y'all know y'all have y think you know more than the men of the Lord. You don't know shit, man. You women don't know shit. Okay. This this calling is for the elect men of the nation of Israel. Okay. This is a serious calling. Life or death is on, on on the table. Okay. It says she's standing in the top of places by the way in the places of the paths. Okay, we are we're out there risking our lives on the highways and hedges, warning you people the impending danger. But y'all don't want to y'all don't want to listen? The Lord's gonna destroy you, man. You don't want to repent? The Lord's gonna destroy you. Okay? None of your doctrines is gonna save you. If you don't have this truth straight up and down, you're going to get destroyed, man. No if or ends and buts. Right now, the Lord's the Lord have his mercy upon upon uh, uh, Jacob, but he's about to take away his mercy. This is why we. This is why we're uh, um, faithfully laboring and, and constantly pushing this work. The men of the Lord. A true man of the Lord is pushing his work daily because we understand what the terror of the Lord is going to bring. Keep in mind Noah. Noah had to prophesy 120 years. Un, uh, 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 unwavered. You know, uh, 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 being steadfast, steadfast in the faith. Constantly, constantly warning the people about rain is coming. And they didn't listen. And when, when, when the ark was closed... When Yahweh Shai closed that ark, because Yahweh Shai is, is the Savior, closed that ark, it was fulfilled, it was finished. And then it started raining. And pour it on you wicked niggas, man. Pour it on you wicked niggas and you wicked women. And, 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 and your children died in it too, because they was monstrous little beasts too, man. And the same generation is back here today, is about to suffer that same flood of fire, man. By Yahweh Shai and only, the holy angel and the nuclear missiles is going to target this bitch and destroy this whore, man. It says, She's crying at the gate and at the entry of the city, at the coming and at the doors, unto you. Okay, we prophesied, showing you a history that you're the Hebrew Israelites and 
you need to turn back to the Lord because the Lord is going to judge. We are telling you about what the name of the Lord is. We are telling you about repentance. Get back right. Don't do no more wickedness to the best of your ability. Try to get right with the Lord and the sight of the Lord. But what? You niggas fan it off, man. You fan it off. And what the Lord is going to do, he's going to he's gonna destroy you at any given point, man. You're going to destroy your family. Destroy your kids. The Lord, there's no respect to the person in the uh, no respect to the persons with um Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot. If the Lord see you not see you not fit, the Lord is, is gonna mess you up, man. Or you gonna put plagues on you until you're destroyed. Okay. It says unto you, old men. He ain't say to women. You women need to stay in the background. Uh, let, leave it to the men to deal with the, the the works, man. You shouldn't be having no pride at all, man. Come, you come into this troop You keep your mouth closed This is to for the men There was no There was no prophetess In, in, in the scriptures Alright You need to hold your peace women And this is Yahweh Bashem Yashai Saying this Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men, not no women. It's unto the sons of men. You shouldn't be posting those scriptures. You shouldn't be saying uh, uh, so much on the comments board. You know, uh, all praises this, you, like you want to be seen. You're supposed to be in the background. A sincere shalom is fine. All right. The Lord's call up, call to the men, because this this is a time of war, man. This is a spiritual warfare that we're involved in. Very he this is a very uh, uh, heavy calling. This is beyond this is beyond your 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 brains, for you women. You wicked niggas look ignorant as hell and just gone. You're just out there, uh, ready for a uh, hunting season, man. You're ready for a hunting season for Esau. You know? Esau's gonna go hunting season on you niggas. Alright? Esau's that Elmer Fudd and you niggas on that Daffy Duck. You silly ass hell, man. Okay? And a lot of y'all want to fan out the truth, but there's nothing you can do against the truth. Okay? Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? Okay? I'm your enemy because I tell you the truth? You can't get around the truth. Nothing you can do against the truth. Okay? You want to strike because the truth is coming about who your heritage is, and uh, uh, who, uh, and who, uh, and uh, who the who the Lord is. That he's a so-called black man. You're offended by that. You should be you should be rejoicing for joy, man. That you, that the, your Lord is, a, is is the same is the same as you. You should be rejoicing that you look just like the Lord. Okay. They, our people, our people are so polluted and corrupted. They don't want to see uh, uh, Jake on the horizon, man. They don't want to see themselves on the horizon. They don't want to see the gloriousness of of, of what a, a, a true so-called black man is supposed to be. And Yahweh Shai is that perfect definition of what a true so-called black man is supposed to be. On the pinnacle, on the top of the universe. All right. Am I therefore your enemy? Am I therefore your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Two thirds of our people are our enemies. You know? Esau is already going. He got his judgment. But you niggas, man. Y'all gonna suffer a severe judgment. Okay? It's a lot.